Hello, y'all. It is BackstabX, aka. Oh, man. Hey, y'all. It is Eric, aka Backstab, here with you today. And this is going to be my first video. It's an introduction, uh, pretty much like a little bio. Uh, information about myself. Also, want to get feedback from you guys. But would you like to see from my channel? Uh, most likely entertainment or um, competitive. Either of those two brackets. Maybe a little bit of both. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, um, let's start off with pretty much um, where my parents were born. My parents were born in Mexico, so I am Mexican myself. Uh, they are from the Spanish. Uh, the Spanish. Yeah. Alright guys, uh, I am Eric, aka Backstab, and this is my first video, so expect a lot of mistakes, expect a lot of arrows, we're just gonna run through the whole thing, it's gonna be a quick little bio, a quick little um, interview to see what you guys wanna see as well, put it down on the comments, uh, pretty much just competitive class royale i think this channel is going to be but if you want to see something specific like a certain deck uh style um definitely drop it in the comments below and then we'll see what we could do about that but yeah guys i am so proud to be here i had just won fifteen thousand dollars and this game is just blowing up and that's amazing and it feels great and i feel like i have such such a great loyal fan base and i love you guys so much uh just saturday was so great for me so much support overall uh but yeah let's start with kind of like where my parents uh were born my parents were born in mexico in a small town called whiskey in guadalajara and um that that city is pretty small and i think it's from spanish heritage so um my parents or my grandparents are probably like Spanish um, descent. Uh, from there, my parents came over here to the USA and that's pretty much where I was born here in the US, here in Southern California as well. I grew up in a really small house. It was one uh, bedroom, one uh, living room, that was say one bathroom uh, with um, my big sister. And what really helped me out was my great friends here in the neighborhood that I still have till this day. My best friends, we have Yen, Saul, uh, Javier, Manuel. Great friends and awesome people. They really shaped my life. And from there, I was always like really competitive with versus them in video games. We always used to play games in our houses and stuff like that. Uh, I used to be really big into soccer, uh, playing it. But then I suffered like a really big injury at uh, sophomore year or like early junior year in high school. I suffered an ACL tear to my knee and then had to have surgery on it. And from there, I tried to come back my senior year. But at that time, we had a new coach in the year. So um, he didn't know who I was. And he was just like, sorry, we can't take you. And because I was just pretty much dead weight at that point. I couldn't really run. I couldn't really do anything. Uh, but it's kind of sad because I was a captain of the soccer team uh, my sophomore year. And I really put all the effort. We got into CIF my sophomore year in high school. And it was such a pleasure playing with them. But unfortunately, they didn't take me back because of my injury. And I suffered like a huge depression for like a year. I just, I was just so sad, dude. Like, you know, I felt like my life was over here. I always wanted to be a professional soccer player. But um, video games, uh, I fell back to video games pretty much. I started playing like MW2, like quick scoping people from like on top of the buildings with 360s and stuff like that. That was a lot of fun, MW2, Modern Warfare. Um, and then after that, we jumped into League of Legends. I think League of Legends we played uh, early season two. Um, I love you, Afro Move. By the way, you're my favorite player. And then after that, we um, I hit like Diamond One with like 80 ALP. I remember that was like my highest in season three. In season two, I finished flat. Uh, but yeah, I was a uh, 
pretty good League of Legends player. I never went pro just because at that time I was, it was kind of like early college. And my parents really wanted me to study and get a degree. I ended up getting my degree in hotel management, uh, a two year degree. And right now I kind of went back to school to try to see if I can go back for my uh, bachelor's degree. So I had to go get some more credits for college. So I went back and right now I should be able to transfer in fall of 20, I think it's 2017, yeah, 2017. But yeah, right now we're just keeping the Clash Royale hype going. We know we're streaming and stuff like that. And I think I lost my place. But yeah, guys, uh, that's pretty much my gaming career, League of Legends. And that, oh, yeah, yeah, right after that, I started playing Clash of Clans. And that's where I met some of the most influential people in my career so far. I met, uh, I was in a great clan called uh, North Remembers. I always want to be in like the best clans in like any game just because that's where you learn I'm a very competitive person so I joined North three members at the time and uh, this guy named Nighttime was currently the leader and just every decision he made was just so perfect this guy is amazing an amazing person so it was great to get to know him and everyone else I think Arklo as well huge shout out to him uh, but yeah I transitioned my Clash of Plants to my Clash Royale in uh, I think it was like March 2016 and then from there we started like playing in bracket tourneys from like a bunch of different streamers they have like back in the day it was just like bracket style tourneys for ten dollars and uh, I was just like oh shit I can make money off this game right so I started like taking the game kind of serious and like trying to make as much money as possible and that's what I pretty much did for like the first two months of Clash Royale. It's just like go into like bracket tournaments. I made over like three hundred dollars, I think, in just like bracket Google Play and like PayPal money, dude. It was pretty nuts. I was just killing it. And that's where I kind of ran into like Naruto Zumaki. At that time, we weren't really friends. We were just kind of like enemies we would always meet in like bracket tourneys and stuff like that. I was like, you again? God damn it, you again, dude? Like, I gotta face you in the finals, I gotta face you in the first round. Like, it was either me or him, like, always taking the money. Uh, me and Naruto is kind of insane. And then, after, like, the bracket tourneys, I think, uh, two months after, Hammers announced a, uh, live Las Vegas $250 tournament. And, like, I don't know about you guys, but I'm a huge party guy. Well, I was back then. When I was younger, I would always go to parties. And I'm like, Vegas, Clash Royale, Party City. I'm like, I gotta be there. Like, the first live event here near, like, driving distance of LA. And it's, like, in Vegas, the huge party city. So I'm like, I gotta be there, man. I went. I actually got, uh, I went for three days. On the first day, I actually got unlocked the miner. So I started practicing the miner all day that day. I was like, holy crap, this card is good. It definitely counters Elixir Collector. This is amazing. Uh, so I got to use this card tomorrow because I knew at that time Elixir Collector was like the biggest thing ever. And so I ran like a miner control deck before like it was cool and everything. I just like decided to do it. Um, and that's how I won the tournament with miner control. I won the live tournament and then I went up against Justin for the win. And he was running this crazy hog deck, and I think he he beat me four to two. But it the other two matches were like super close. It was like under 100 HP. But congratulations to him. That was completely nuts, man. So yeah, I ended up winning the live tournament, and then ended up like spending all the money in blackjack, anyways. So <laughs> I mean, it was a lot of fun. But yeah, I shouldn't have spent all the money, but it was definitely worth it. I had a great time in Vegas. And then after that, uh, you know, pretty much Hammers recruited me like a month later. I went to Hammers. Didn't really do any anything really in July for Clash Royale. I started streaming like really, really late July, like the 29th or something like that. But I would only stream like one or two days a week. And I would get like, what, like five viewers uh, watching me, dude. Like I got like five viewers for like two months, dude. I, uh, my stream was like super, super small. <laughs> it is crazy how much we grew so far but yeah I was like only streaming a couple days a week 
and getting like 10, 15 viewers. I was like, oh my God, like 15 viewers. That, that's amazing, dude. Like that felt amazing to me back then. Um, but definitely like, we've come a long way. Thank you to all my fans. It feels amazing, especially all the fans that went to go support me on Saturday. Uh, you guys were the, probably the best crowd there. I had the best, best fans without a doubt that day. And that's what really helped me strive to victory. I know a lot to you guys. But yeah, so that's pretty much my Clash Royale career. That's pretty much my introduction for you guys today. I, um, pretty much just a huge shout out to um, Hammer Esports for helping me build and come this far. Um, right now, we're the champions of North America. We're one of the best players, I think, right here in North America, which is insane. We were able to like actually shoutcast a couple of uh, big events. Uh, we went to Montreal because of Clash Royale. We went to Vegas because of Clash Royale. We've been to like Hollywood like three or four times because of Clash Royale. We're going to Helsinki for Clash Royale. So this game has definitely been a life-changing moment for me and I just want to thank all you guys for supporting me and making this possible, especially to Hammer Esports for providing such, such a great, great or a place for me to grow and uh, help my teammates grow as well. I love you guys. And then that jersey is just amazing, the one that's back there. I, I, that's my baby jersey right there. I don't think I'm ever going to wash it. It smells like sweat, but I mean, I don't think I'm ever going to wash it just because of the memories, dude. It's going to be like that for the rest of the... <laughs> for the rest of my life, I don't think I'm ever going to wash that shirt. But yeah, definitely I'll have to buy another one. <laughs> that shirt is going in history of, you know, in history in the making. I'm probably going to put it um, in frame or something like that. It's never going to be washed again or touched again by anyone. It's sacred to me now. But yeah, guys, that was it for me. That was my YouTube introduction. I wonder how long this video is. Hopefully it's not too long. But thanks for watching. We'll start... Uh, uh, popping up some more videos pretty soon let me know in the comments what you guys want to see um, and stuff like that I'm sorry this video was kind of just like just made on the random right on the fly but I feel like I needed to throw something and thank all you guys for um, supporting me and stuff like that but thank you guys so much uh, hope to hear from you soon um, and that's it for me now I gotta go shoot a video with Clash with Ash so see you soon